Okay, um, it's been a while since I've done a, done a video, um, so I just thought I'd give you an update on the coffee table project I'm doing. Um, most of the electronics are, well, nearly done now. I've just got the LED matrix and a logic converter a PCB to make. So this is it so far. I've got the um, Arduino and an Ethernet shield on there. Uh, there's three breakout boards on at the moment. Um, there'll be another board there with the logic converter on and the LED matrix driver will either be here or on the other side of it and this will mount in the arch of the coffee table um, yeah the the arch isn't actually here now so I can't show you that and I've got another board like this with the audio um, electronics on and that connects to you through a ribbon cable um, these bo this breakout boards for the two LCDs here uh, that's just got yeah two ribbon cable headers, um, power input, and two contrast adjustments, and that one's just a breakout board um, that goes to here. Another breakout board, um, and that's the main panel that you'd use to control it. Yeah, in hindsight, it would be better to design it so this could uh, just connect straight onto this PCB, but it works like that, so that's good enough. And these, I've just made a, a breakout board that goes on the back that uh, makes it a bit easier to mount as well. Just a ribbon cable header and um, the two power connectors for the backlight. So yeah, and there uh, I've just got, well it's got terminal blocks, power distribution and a no volt release style power switch. And that's just a prototype of the, the uh, front panel. Um, yeah, these holes are a little too big and I would never make it out of yellow because that just looks awful. So, just power it up. Uh, when we first turn it on, it just gives a boot message. The orange LED comes on. Um, and when it's ready, the green one will come on. And that's just, that's really hard to see. But that's just shown, on this one shows the latest um, news headline from Engadget. And this one shows the weather information. Um, so yeah, um, and the orange LED will come on to show you it's updating. So when you press uh, blue, it opens a menu. You can refresh it manually and put it into multimedia mode. And um, in this mode, it would um, give you options to uh, just open the menu again. Um, yeah, it gives you options to switch the audio interface from Bluetooth to 3.5mm and the option to go back to the news mode. Um, and that controls most of the... Oh, I'm not on the ball today. Um, most of that... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that just controls three relays on the audio part. To control the audio interface, um, the switch from the, the two audio inputs, control power to the amplifiers and the Bluetooth receiver. Um, it's also got two analog inputs coming from here that would uh, connect to, that come from two op amps on the audio board, which um, power a music visualization code, which isn't on here yet, which in turn would um, do visualizations on the LED matrix, which also isn't on. I'm just waiting for some PCB to etch those PCBs and get them made. But right now it'll show the current song you're listening to from Last FM. Uh, so if I just play something on Spotify. Uh, when that updates, it should get the... This isn't going well, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that works. Um, so yeah, that's currently playing on 
uh, Spotify, which is updating Last FM, which is updating my web service, which is being called from the Arduino. So it's quite a long way for data to travel, uh, just to do that. But that works. So that that's um, yeah shows you the current playing song. The green one, the green display doesn't actually do anything on this. So I'm not sure what to do with that yet. And uh, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I've got another L LCD display to try and w uh, get to work. Um, that's what the other logic converter is for. Um, other than that, it's pretty much done. I just need to actually make the table and fit everything in it and finish that. So yeah, it should be good when it's finished. And um, I've tested the power consumption as well. Um, idle when it when it's off like now it uses 0.15 watts of power when it's on in news mode it uses uh, 3.7 watts of power and when the amplifiers are on on 30% um, power well 30% maximum vo um, volume from the amplifiers and full volume from whatever the from the source it uses about um, 5 watts of power which I don't think is that bad. Um, yeah. Well, thanks for watching. I should hopefully have some uh, more interesting videos of this when I finished it.